Welcome to your Go Market update for today. Mike Smith, Senior RC Go Markets here. It's Monday, the 21st of November. We hope you're all well. We hope you had a great weekend. And we're delighted to see you here for this meander around the markets. Let's see what's happening in the news now. US equities closed higher on Friday. Only just so on the NASDAQ, the Dow and the S&P outperformed. Finished the week with a little bit of cautious confidence, but still down overall. It is a shortened week this week due to Independence Day in the US and a half day on Black Friday. Fairly quiet day to week, relatively speaking. So we are keeping an eye on the China COVID situation, which may influence markets to some degree going forward, as well as the data that is out, of course. US futures are near neutral as you're just trading to the downside when we are starting to record this. Asian indices are mixed to start the week, the ASX is eking out small gains of around about 0.1%. European equity futures are suggesting a higher open at this stage. We'll see how things develop this afternoon. On the FX front, the US dollar index has had a small bounce off the support on Friday, but it's still near those three month lows that we referenced for most of last week. It is slightly weaker in Asia against most currencies, but the FX market is very flat. There is some fluctuation between positive and negative on the USD, but very, very small range at this stage. Gold retraced on Friday below that 200 EMA and gold does still look very positive if we look at what's happened over the last two or three weeks. Obviously, it has that relationship with the USD. Oil has continued its move downwards through support to hit five week lows. Uh, the Brent crude CFD contract edging towards 90. Copper has continued its five day slide after a major run up prior to that. And really this is on the back of that China COVID situation and potential concerns about demand. Uh, the VIX hasn't moved much. It is bounced along support at the moment. So no major market upset apparent in that particular index. Cryptos are what has moved this morning. We've seen a further move downwards and is now near 1600 with Bitcoin. Uncertainty is rife. Um, and the clarity of what may happen next with cryptos just seems to get muddier as the days progress. We're not quite at the lows that we hit in the recent past, but certainly if we get anywhere near 15600, that could be important. As I said, a fairly quiet day to week, in fact, quiet day to day also. But the People's Bank of China released their interest rate decision. And we've got PPI data. Uh, US retailers also continue to report. They always are the last to report through earnings season. So we've got a few of the medium sized players reporting during the week. Let's have a look at a couple of charts of interest. And we're going to start with the GB pound USD in the FX world. And you can see there we pushed quite hard against 119 between Tuesday and Friday last week. You can see we're down again today. It doesn't look as though there's any appetite to push through that level at all. And so what we are doing is we're actually keeping an eye on this level to the downside. You can see there with support here, resistance here, support here. So 118.20 could be a level of interest if you're look at the shorter term chart there could be a potential scalping opportunity here of around 45 pips you can see we've pulled down in asia beneath this short term support around about 118.75 could continue down right to this level at 118.19 on the asx we are seeing some buying back into lithium stocks here's lion town resources as an example and so what we've done here is essentially we've bounced off a support level at around about two dollars moved up from that and possibly a retest of these highs 218 could be on the cards that in itself is not a bad return in a possible short space of time of around about 6.75 so one to watch there probably looks technically the cleanest of the lithium stocks at the moment uh, who do all appear to be slightly to the upside today Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.